Hey, this is Dan Land Pro. Hey, we told you we was going to do a, a tutorial on uh, Photoshop adjustment layers, saving presets. So we're going to show you how to save a preset, export that preset, import that preset. That way, no matter how many shots you have or how many times you want to use that adjustment layer, you can use it, you can save it, use it for a later date, whatever. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop, and the first thing we want to do, uh, this is not a tutorial for those of you who are learning uh, adjustment layers in Photoshop. This is for those who already know how to do it. We're just showing you how to save presets now, which is something new in Photoshop. So if you don't see your adjustment layers, uh, uh, presets, then we want you to go up to Windows up here and just hit Adjustments. And now you see your layers. So if you don't see the one you want, uh, just say you're, you're still in classic view, which is this. You might see this when you hit adjustment layers. We want you to go up here to the icons and then just hit and make sure you're on modern view. And now you see in modern view, we have four or five different adjustment layers showing. And as you see, whenever I swipe over adjustment layer, it'll show you the effect on that particular photo. We can click here for more, or we can do a single adjustment uh, preset down here. And that's your singles. And these are the presets that we already made and we don't really need that one. So I'm gonna delete that preset and get it out of there because we want you to start from scratch. So now what we want to do is we want to go get a preset for this particular photo. So I like this uh, cinematic. So we're going to click on that cinematic. Now, as you see in cinematic, we already have brightness and color uh, for our presets. So if you want to see the effects of that, we could take that particular one off and you see the effects of uh, the brightness and then you see the effects of the color. Now I can add a third single adjustment on this adjustment layer. So if I want to go down here, just say I want to do some, some levels. Now I can add some different levels as far as darkness or whatever. I'm just doing this to show you how it would affect the photo. So now you see it was added to that cinematic split tone group. So now we have all of these in that particular adjustment layer. So now what we would do once we want got our photo to where we wanted it, we're not going into detail, we're just showing you how to save the preset. We would select all three of these uh, uh, adjustment layers or filters that we put on our adjustments, our preset, and then we would go right here where it says your presets, and we want to hit that plus sign. Now I'm going to give this a name, so I'm going to call it Test Adjustments. And you will be naming yours whatever uh, uh, you would be naming it. So once you name it and you hit save, you will see now, like before, that test adjustment is in my queue as far as my save presets. So I can have a number of presets in this particular adjustment area. And if you notice, it created an icon from the photo to show me where that preset was made from. So in any case, whenever I swipe over a particular preset or anything in the adjustments panel, it is short on that filter or it is short on that photo. So now if we want to use this, say we had a bunch of photos that we want to use this with, uh, we can go to those photos. So we're going to go to a photo that we already have and you see there's no presets on this particular photo. So now when you hit, see me hit that test adjustment, now I've added it to that photo and you see the group come up over here in the panel and then you see what each effect of those in that group as far as how they affect that particular photo. So that's when you have maybe the same photo shot with the same camera, the same light, and you want to have the same effect on all those photos, then you can use it in that way. Now, if I want to get rid of this particular uh, preset once I used it, I could just drag it down here to the garbage bin, and now you see it's gone. So if I want to reapply it, I just hit, and there it is, back on. I will, uh, uh, in a, a, a photo. So now let's go back to our original photo. And as you see, so now I showed you how to save your presets as far as your adjustment layer. So if you really want to ask, use it in other ways, like you want to save it for later or use it in another, uh, in another workflow, or you might want to use it on another computer. You just go to these little three dots right here 
click on there and you'll see you can rename this preset you can delete this preset you can export it you can have even export as custom presets so you can do different things as far as these three dots so what we want to do is export this preset so we can use it later on other machines or in other photos and we're going to show you how to do so let's go export preset so now it says test adjustments and it says adjustments but I'm going to save mine where I can find it right quick. So I'm going to just save it in, in cards right quick. So test, test adjustments, save. So your computer sets have been sexually exported to your device. So now we're going to go back and we're going to delete this particular adjustment preset to show you how to import that back into your program or back into it for use if you had it outside of where you wanted it. So I'm going to delete that. So now we don't even have that. I'm going to drag this down to the garbage can. So now we're back to our original photo. So now just say we want to import that preset back into our program or into another program on another machine using the same files. Then we just come up here to Windows. Make sure your adjustment panel is open. So as you see, we have no presets in there. So I'm going to go up here to my menu and I'm going to hit import presets. And I'm going to go to end card where I saved that preset. You see down here where it says test adjustment. That's the preset that I saved. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to hit open. And now you see my test preset is back in my queue as a preset where it say your presets. And now I'm going to apply that to my photo. So that's pretty much how you go about making presets, creating your presets. You can have custom presets, saving that preset exporting that preset and then importing that preset back into a program or in other ways that you may want to use it. You can also put it on a number of photos so you don't have to keep making a lot of different adjustments like you used to have to do with adjustment layers. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy. We didn't go over adjustment layers in detail or the basics because we figured you already know it for this particular pre uh, tutorial. So we hope you got something out of that. Hey, I'm Dan Land Pro, YouTube.com, Steppers Express. Make sure you subscribe. Till next time, peace.